so we already talked uh, quite a lot about uh, data and what kind of uh, data sets we have and how we collect. But also when we talk about big data, that it's uh, almost impossible to collect yourself. You need specific tools. And that is also, um, and that's the same what you do with benchmarking. We start with a big data pool and we really only look at the information we need. So we really start with uh, requirements. What is the data we need? And what is the year we need? So we're not going to collect all the data because that would really slow every system down. Just have uh, specific filters and specific requirements. The next step, if we have those requirements, uh, can we collect it from one data pool or do we need to go to another da database? Do we need to uh, source external data? When we have the data in, we need to connect it. We need to see the quality. Garbage in, garbage out. Uh, so we need to make sure that we have our data standardized, that we have taken out any bad data, we've taken out any uh, outliers, making sure that the data we have will form a good base for the analysis, what we're going to do. When we have data, data itself, many people can't read, can't understand. So that's why you have the data analyst who is really making sure that he's going to answer the question uh, that the reader has asked. Meaning some people want to see charts, some people want to see tables, but they need to understand within short what the current status is and what that information is telling them. So it is really, really important in this step that you understand the question you received and that with the data you have selected, you can answer that question and you can answer the question only in such a way that the reader can't understand it in a different way. Last step, already talked about it a little, is the visualization. Uh, making sure it is easy to read, easy to uh, understand. And that of course is uh, the biggest challenge. 